Hey. Um, so this is a video to introduce you to um, the sort of fundamental movement themes and patterns that are present in the Ashtanga Yoga practice. <clears throat> it builds up to the um, sequence that is um, transitional between postures that starts out the practice that is based on the Surya Namaskar. Um, so this little sequence starts to open up shoulders, hips, and the spine and starts to create, um, starts to establish the movement patterns that you use over and over again in the Ashtanga Yoga practice. Um, and it also helps to connect you to breath, which is an essential aspect of practicing Ashtanga or any vinyasa style of yoga asana. So begin seated. Begin in a comfortable cross-legged position. Now you can sit on a pillow or blocks or whatever you need to to be able to be comfortable sitting with your ankles crossed. You don't want to feel like you're falling backwards, right? And have to hold on to your knees. You don't want to feel like your knees are tucked up into your body. So you can sit on something if that helps you to feel more grounded in the hips and taller in the spine, yeah? So let your hands rest on your knees. We're going to tune into the breath before doing any sort of movement. The breath is the first layer. So start just by noticing the breath, observing the breath. Notice if the inhale is longer than the exhale or vice versa. Listen to the sound of the breath. Observe how the body moves with the breath or maybe doesn't move. Does the belly move, the shoulders, the ribs? We're going to begin to take over controlling the breath by moving it through the nose, in through the nose and out through the nose. Let your tongue rest gently along the back of the upper teeth with the back of the tongue free and falling away from the throat. In through the nose and out through the nose. Begin to establish a steadiness between the inhale and exhale. So they take the same amount of time. So notice if your inhale is a comfortable four breaths or four count breath, make sure your exhale is also a four count breath. And let that become steady and comfortable. Check in with the transitions between breaths. Keep the throat open and free as you transition. Avoid closing the muscles of the vocal folds. Keep that release, so breath just transitions in and out. In through the nose and out through the nose, steady, even breaths. If you're comfortable with your four, four count breath, try to increase it to a five, five. Relaxing the upper abdomen muscles so that you can fill the lungs completely all the way down into the diaphragm. And every exhale, completely emptying the breath to make way for new oxygen. Use the belly muscles to squeeze up the breath, empty completely. In through the nose and out through the nose. Take your hands into Anjali Mudra, prayer pose, hands pressing together at your sternum. We're going to do an Om together. One deep inhale.
Take your arms overhead. Interlace the fingers. Drop the shoulders and turn the palms to face the ceiling. Keep your elbows bent if you need so those shoulders can drop away from the neck and ears. The neck feels free. And then reach back through the pinky fingers. If you have the space to straighten the arms without rising those shoulders, that's fine. But if the shoulders come up with you, just keep them bent, it's okay. Sit nice and tall and reach back through the pinky fingers. Two more breaths. Keep that steady breath we established, in through the nose and out through the nose. Keeping the throat free between breaths. Good, coming back around, release the arms behind you, interlace the hands behind you. Roll the shoulders back, broadening the collarbone. Hug the shoulder blades into the spine and then let yourself hang forward as you exhale. Try to lift the hands away from the hips. Two, in through the nose and out through the nose. Three, four, reach them up, up, up. Five, coming back up, stacking the vertebrae as you inhale. Coming through a side body stretch, take one hand to the floor and reach the other up and over the ear. Now try to keep your front body facing forward. Avoid dropping it toward that hand or lifting it up to the ceiling. Keep it lateral and stretch through the side body. Use this hand on the floor as support. Chin free of the throat, shoulder away from the ear. And then lastly, turn to look up at the ceiling along your inner arm. Big stretch, reach through the side body. Inhale, coming up and exhale, other side. Chin free, shoulder on the back, gazing up. One more breath in through the nose. Out through the nose, inhale, take it back up. Little twist here, reach across to your knee. Other hand comes behind you for support. Inhale, grow taller. Every inhale naturally puts space between the vertebrae. And exhale, turn back over your shoulder. One, two, three, four, five, untwist, switching sides, inhale, grows you nice and tall, and exhale, rotates the vertebrae, two, three, four, Five, untwist, good. From here, I want you to try to come over the knees, into your hands and knees. So I'm gonna show you first. Keep your feet tucked close to your hips. Squeeze your knees close together. Take your hands in front of your knees and then lean weight into the hands to come forward over the knees. I'm gonna show you from the side. Feet are tucked, hands into the floor. Lean weight into the hands and come over the knees, walking your hands forward. Set up in cat-cow. Now, if that's not possible, that does put pressure where these bones cross on the shins. Your, your body gets used to it. Yeah, that it does feel uncomfortable at first, um, but if you try to do it over and over, the body will get used to it and it will stop giving you that feedback that it's kind of icky, right? Um, but if the knees are giving you problems and that's not possible, just swing the legs to the side and come to your hands and knees, yeah? So here we are, hands and knees. The knees are lined up under the hips, the hands are lined up under the shoulders. We're gonna move into cat-cow, following the breath. So the inhale initiates. As you inhale, drop the belly, lift your tailbone and lift your chin so that we're stretching the front body spaces. As you exhale, pull the belly into the spine, tuck the chin, tuck the tail, and press the floor away, rounding through the back. 
Inhale, open the front body spaces. And exhale, lengthen the back body spaces. Tuck the chin, press the floor away. Inhale, drop the belly, drop the ribs, gaze up. Exhale, scoop and tuck, lengthen the back body. Try to get to your edges. Inhale, open the front body, arch as much as you can. Exhale, rounding, press and lift the spine as far as you can. Pull the belly into the back. Inhale, release and open. Exhale, round. Last one, inhale. Gaze up. Exhale, gaze under. Inhale into a neutral spine. Walk your hands about a hand print forward. If you are already at the top of your mat, just scoot your knees away. Yeah. Keep your elbows pointing back so we're not going out to the sides. Keep them in. Keep the belly drawn in and lower the whole body down to the floor. Slowly, slowly using your triceps. Good. Now once you're here, leave your hands here under the shoulders. Elbows behind, pull in towards each other and reach down towards your feet. Draw the low belly into the spine and inhale. Send the heart forward to lift it just a little bit. Don't even use your arms, right? The hands are just resting. Test yourself. Can you lift your hands without lowering your chest? Pull the shoulders back towards your feet. Neck is long and free. Gaze about two feet in front of you on the floor. Breathing fully in through the nose. Keep your feet touching out through the nose. One more breath in through the nose. Out through the nose. Exhale to lower it down. Bring your hands back to more about mid-rib, closer to the waist. Inhale, press the floor away. Scoop the belly like we were doing in cat-cow and pull the hips back to the heels for our child's pose. Yeah? Try to keep the knees together and try to drop the weight of the butt all the way back to the feet. Bring your hands close enough to you that you can relax your arms toward the floor. Maybe the elbows rest. And let your head hang. Maybe the elbow, the head touches the floor. So just breathe into the folding of the body here. The knees are bent. The hips are folded. Let your thighs and abdomen um, rest against each other so that the breath is directed into the back body spaces. Breathe deeply into the back body spaces, yeah? Two more breaths, in through the nose and out through the nose. One more breath. Inhale up into the hands and knees. We're going to do cat-cow with the legs, so shift weight into the left knee. And as you inhale, we're going to drop the belly and lift the gaze while you reach back through the right leg. Now, don't let the knee bend and drop. Keep the legs straight and lift through the back of the thigh. As you exhale, round, tucking, draw the knee and try to bring the knee and forehead to touch. Press the floor away. Keep the foot off the floor. Inhale, kick it back, gaze up. Exhale, squeeze and pull, tuck, try to touch. Inhale, three, kick it back. Exhale, draw it under. Inhale, four. Exhale, draw it under. Inhale, five. Exhale, draw it under. Inhale, neutralize, anchoring the knee down. Shift the weight into the right side. We're going to do the same on the left. Inhale now, kick back through the left. Straight leg lifts through the thigh, gaze up. Exhale, press the floor away, rounding the spine, nose to knee. Inhale, kick it back, gaze up. Exhale, scoop and pull it in. Inhale, three. Exhale. Inhale, four. Exhale. Inhale, five, keep it back. Exhale, pull it in, squeeze it in, try to touch. 
Inhale, knee down. Walk your hands about a handprint forward. Elbows in, belly in as you lower slowly all the way down. Cobra again, a little bit more here. Keep the belly drawn in, keep the feet together and touching the floor. Elbows in and pulling back. Inhale, send the chest forward to lift. A little higher, let your arms get involved this time. Gaze about three feet in front of you on the floor. Two, press through the heel of the hand so that you're pulling your elbows back and pulling your shoulders away from your ears. Four, one more breath, breathe deeply. Five, exhale down. Hands at mid rib cage. Press up into straight arms here. Now hang out here a moment. Get your hands so that they're under your shoulders. Arms straight. Now press the floor away so that you lengthen your neck up and out of your shoulders. Pull the shoulders back so that you're broadening the collarbone. And then press the tops of your feet so your knees lift. And your hips just hang in between like a suspension bridge. Two more breaths here. Press the feet. Press the arms and shoulders. One more breath. This is hard. Just do your best. Drop the knees back down. Scoop the belly. Pulling it back. Knees are together. Back into child's pose. Head down. Elbows down. Hips down. Rest. Deep breathing. Even in rest, breathe through the nose. Even as you get fatigued, keep the breath evenly paced. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale, hands and knees. Tuck the toes under behind you and lift the hips up. Press the floor away into down dog. So if you need to, for the sake of tight hamstrings, you can keep the knees bent and really send the hips back. Over time, you're gonna try to work into a straighter leg, releasing the heels down from the hips. But don't let the straightening of the legs pull your hips into a rounded position. Then it's not worth it, right? Keep the hinge in the hips and only let the heels reach away from the sit bones, not pull the sit bones down. Right? Press the floor away through the arms. Deep breathing. Two more breaths. One more breath. Look forward where your hands are and walk your feet up as close as you can. See how far you can get. Even if that means coming on your fingertips, see if you can bring your feet all the way up. Feet are hip distance apart, parallel. Inhale, take a moment here to lift, bringing your hands onto your shins. Long spine, not rounded, right? Long spine, then exhale, let it hang. If you're feeling too much intensity in the hamstrings for now, let the knees bend, but we wanna to work towards a straight leg. Heavy head. Let the bowling ball weight of the head just sort of pull the rib cage down. One more breath. <clears throat> Inhale, lift and lengthen, coming back up to this tabletop. Bend the knees till you can get your fingertips or hands to the floor and then walk them back. All the way to plank or push up position. Hold it, push the floor away. Don't let the belly sink. Don't let your hips tent. Keep it in a nice straight line. Strong legs. And then as you exhale, not, elbows not out to the side. Pull them back as you lower all the way down to the belly. Point your toes behind you, hands move to mid rib cage. Press up into straight arms, 
Take the time to make sure your hands are under your shoulders. You don't want the hands in front of you. This will jam into your low back. So make sure the hands are under the shoulders, right? Push, lengthening out of the neck. Roll, broadening the chest. And then press the feet to lift the knees. Hanging between the hands and feet. Bend the knees to the floor. Lift the hips, tuck the toes, send it up and back. Downward dog. One, push the floor away. Let your head hang through your arms. Look at your feet. Maybe look at your knees. Release the heels away from the hips. Keep the abdomen long. One more breath. Look forward at the hands and walk your feet up. See if you can bring the feet all the way up to the hands. This time bring the toes to touch. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, lower heavy head. Inhale, bring it all the way up. Bring your arms up, reach the arms up, gazing up. And then come into Samasthiti, arms at your sides. I'm just gonna pull that up, please stay. Straight Namaskara, we're going to walk through that slowly. From here, Samasthiti, bring the arms up and look up at the hands. Exhale, fold forward, soften the knees if you need to, heavy head. Inhale, half lift. Bend the knees to get your hands down and step it back to plank position. Set it up, long body, strong body. Elbows in, lower all the way down to the belly. Toes point, hands back at mid-rib. Press straight arms, lengthen, open, knees up. Put the knees down to flip the feet and transition into down dog. Five breaths, one, two, three, in through the nose and out through the nose. Four. Five. Look forward. Walk it up. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, heavy hang. Inhale, all the way up. Arms up. Look up. Exhale. Release your arms to your sides. Good, inhale, arms up. And this time when we bring your arms up, we're gonna sit into like a chair pose. So as you bring your arms up, bend your knees, dropping your hips. Inhale here, sit a little deeper. Exhale, fold forward, heavy head. Inhale, half lift. Bending the knees, take the hands down and walk it back, plank position. Lower down to the belly. Point the toes, hands to mid rib, press, lift, open, knees, flip the feet, down dog. Now this, from here we're gonna add a little piece. Shift weight into the left foot. Lift the right foot about a foot off the floor. Can you see that? Probably not, okay. Shift weight into the left foot, lift the right leg just so that it's off the floor. Exhale, bring the knee forward, tuck the chin. Inhale, point it back. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, point it back. Exhale, pull it in. Point it back, pull it in. Now kick the heel forward and bring your foot to the floor. Yeah? So from here, just kick the heel forward and see where it lands. Turn the back heel down by rolling it in. Keep the front knee bent and pull your upper body up into warrior pose. Good. Then bring it back down. Hands by that front foot. Push the floor away and tuck the foot by pulling it in. Step it back. Good. Lower down to the floor. Hands back, straight arms. And over the feet to down dog. Same thing on the left side. 
Shift weight into the right foot. Move forward. Okay, good. Lift the back leg just so that it's off the floor. Exhale, pull it in. Try to touch the nose to the knee. Keep pushing the arms. Inhale, lift it, kick it back. Exhale, pull it in. Kick it back. Pull it in. Kick it back. Pull it in. Kick it forward. Yeah, did you have the space for that? Lunge forward into that front leg. Roll the back heel down. Keep the front knee bent and bring your upper body up. Keep that front knee bent. Back leg strong. Exhale, take it back down, hands to the floor. Push the hands into the floor. Lift the back heel and tuck the foot to step it back. Lower down, all the way. Hands back, toes point. Push up into up dog. Drop the knees to flip the feet. Push back into down dog. Three, in through the nose and out through the nose. Four. Five. From here, shift towards the hands. Take one knee down by the wrist, other knee down by the wrist. Cross your ankles, right? Cross your ankles behind you. Knees wide. And then use your hands to roll back over that shin, that uncomfortable position, so that you're sitting now in a cross-legged position. Call crisscross applesauce. Or crisscross applesauce. Thank you very much. Don't leave me hanging. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> um, so from a seated position, reach your arms around behind your back. If you need to get your block or pillow again, go ahead and do that. Take your arms around behind your back. Inhale to find length and exhale. Just let yourself hang forward over your body. Deep breaths. In through the nose and out through the nose. Sit nice and tall. Release your hands onto your knees. You can take Yana Mudra, the first finger and thumb touch at the fingertips. Long spine, let the back of the skull lift so that the chin gently drops. And send your gaze down along the nose. Nasagrai Drishti. One, breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Two, jump, jump, jump. Three. 